So this is a completely blind react for us. This has been sent to us in our little group group chat from our fearless leader Yuswade. And apparently, first of all, I gotta say, it's white people things. I <laughs> I I didn't wanna say it, but yeah, this this is a I can't see a nation doing Fucking this. Fucking white people, god damn it. Alright. If you if you make it past the minute, comment down below that you made it past the minute. Past, <laughs> right? Past the minute and we'll show you out on the next video. Hey. Have a day. You know? Yep. Uh, apparently a guy didn't shower for a month and he's going to tell us what happened. So you know what? I can only imagine that he was partially miserable. Uh, he got like a protective layer on his skin and his hair grew really oily. That's and my guess. You got Random rashes, I bet. Oof. My thing is, what did he do during this time? I know. Like, was he, was he going to the gym and working out? Does he have a job in labor where he have to actually, you know, move? I know. And... The longest streak that I've ever had of not taking a shower about a month and a half, and I made a tweet about this. Yeah, you know what? He he fits the bill of someone who would do this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> white people all right here we go if you grow out your hair you look like this. good thing i'm not good thing i'm never growing out my hair then <laughs> so not just a month a month and a half that's yeah. 45 days yeah he made it to the month i said you know what two more weeks he, he, he did the vince carter i got one more in me <laughs> that i hadn't showered in a month there were a lot of people who I suppose weren't real viewers of mine thought that I was lying. And a lot of my real viewers said that it was a good start. And with the amount of people that I had talking about this, I thought to myself, you know what? I had to make a really good video. And I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna share with you guys my experience. So he did this not, not for content, just because. Just because he, like. The content was an afterthought. <laughs> Oh I could God. see people, like, the world of influencers that we live in. It's like, do stupid things. Because we might do another video about just influencers doing stupid things. Just for the fucking video. Just for the internet cloud and all. You know? But this guy didn't shower for a month and a half. Then thought, now, now this would be a good video. Only because his friends on the internet told him it would be a good video. So, yeah, that okay. perplexes me. Yeah. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to say is that there are a lot of you guys out there. You've got real jobs. You've got people that you have to see daily. Maybe you have a girlfriend. Maybe you have a wife. Maybe you have to go out and interface with society. Well, luckily for you, I am not tethered by those earthly desires. And um, I'm able to dredge and delve into the depths of the Who doesn't have to interact with society. So he's a Twitch streamer. Okay, so you're in a basement somewhere, or not to, if you were living in a basement, get on you. By the way, he, he kind of does look like someone who would live alone in a basement. Well, yeah, so if, if you have these exact parameters of, you know, being able not to shower because you don't have a girlfriend or meet anybody or abide by social norms, and have enough money, you know. Which is probably, well, maybe we'll find out later in the video, but I'm guessing a lot of the food is probably Uber Eats as well. Yeah, and, you know, have enough money for the interweb and to make videos. I, I see that's a niche. Why would I do something that I don't have to do? There were a number of reasons why I take showers. I think one of the big reasons is so I don't look bald whenever I'm streaming, but I'm not streaming right now, so I'm pretty much good. Now, the reason I broke this streak, as you guys can see, my hair is, well, I still do look bald, but this is about as good as it gets, nowadays at least. And um, I thought that I had to be somewhere today, but apparently I don't have to be there. So I pretty much showered for nothing, and I ruined, you know. He could have gone longer. This is why there's rules for, like, these video game tournaments or... Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, or oh. Pokemon tournaments. 
the, uh, the fact that you actually need to cover your body odor. You need to shower to oh participate. Oh my god, really guys? Because there's people like this who don't think it's necessary. And the fact that I could have gone longer was a thought in his mind. I'm very... It's, it, it's a different world than I live in. Yeah. People would kind of expect that you would just get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier as time went on. But the reality is that about 10 days in, after you haven't showered for about 10 days, you pretty much stop getting dirty. Um, mm. Regardless, the point that I'm trying to make here is that I, uh, I don't sweat a lot, and that's probably why it's possible for me to kind of do this. And also on top of that, I want to say that about 10 days or so into not showering, you kind of hit a plateau. So like, the, you know, you have the time and it's like, you know, the things are getting dirtier, you're getting dirtier, and it starts to plateau or so around, I'd say day eight to 11 or so, about day eight to 11, it starts to plateau. And at that point, you stop really getting any more dirt. Not to make judgments, but... Oh no, I'm fully judging. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I honestly am. Because, like, this Listen, is very foreign to me. It, Speaking as a guy who showers once at least, maybe twice a day. Yeah. And I need to change my shirt at least once, twice, three times a day. Just to feel well, that I mean, cleanness. We are also speaking from having, both of us working together, having a job on what could sometimes be a 45 degree Celsius hotline in a fucking dinner rush. With, you know, three, four layers on. Yeah, you know, with, with like two, three layers on and just sweating, dripping down your ass crack. Yeah, then, you know, just having the swamp forming down there. Yeah. And it's really not fathomable to no, me. No, it's... And yeah, the fact that you're a video game player and you don't go out and, you know, that you're there, it's it's truly fascinating. I'm like, I'm almost invested in this. Just, just to see the like, world he lives and in. And judge, I, like, I can't tell, but maybe judging by the background, he could possibly be living a hermit lifestyle. Like, off the grid, like, thing. But then, with obviously, with enough access to electricity and Wi-Fi that maybe you're only paying a power bill. I have friends who live off grid and I know how they live and like they don't shower every day per se but they get the sweet spot. Oh yeah. Right? They whore bath it. You know then they'll go swimming when it's the summer and you know the yeah. like, but they but they do have clean clothes they do the laundry yeah. you know they have the outside clothes they it's, have the it's inside almost, it's clothes it's almost like basic you know? human decency right and it's like they they find a way to be comfortable with themselves yes and that's uh, it might sound odd but I, I don't really feel dirty and i always really keep my hands clean because they touch my phone all the time but other than that you know i'm pretty much okay i would like to point out that i think it has been scientifically proven that your phone is one of the dirtiest things in existence Granted, I can see that. And he says he keeps his hands clean because he touches his phone a lot. So maybe he's at, would washing your hands count? Because that's maybe the only kind of washing he's been doing? I'm hoping he washes his ass at least. So this, this sweet. Oh, spots. I hope he wipes for fuck's sake. I worry about it. And it's kind of weird to me that I don't really know how I got this way. I used to have a two designated showering days week. I had uh, Tuesdays, sorry, Thursdays and Sundays were my designated showering days because those were the days that I would have dinner with my dad. And back whenever I started the schedule, uh, we were too poor to afford hot water, so I'd take a shower over at his house. But later on, I uh, got a girlfriend, which is, you know, as much of a surprise to you as it was to, uh, uh, you know, probably me as well. Um, I guess my parents were just happy that, uh, you know, I was doing something. But regardless, um, I... That he wasn't shooting up a high school? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, I just got to say to our viewers out there, and like, you, you just go out, talk to people, be kind to everybody. Yes. And there's somebody out there for you, you know, 
as unlikely as it may seem. And the fact that you're living in your own head and you could be quite delusional in the eyes of somebody else. There are people out there who are willing to be with you. Yes. As evidenced by this story. So just keep trying. Oh, yeah. Keep loving. Learn to love yourself first. However it self, may manifest. Self-love self helps. Self-love does you know, help. And then what the hell is wrong with you if he could get a girlfriend and you can't? Girlfriend, and she was not particularly happy with this uh, designated showering days thing. And she pretty much insisted that I move it up to about three or so. And that was... That was a lot of work. It's like six months or so. I think I said this in my last video. I don't know if I did or not. Uh, I would just every month or so go to Target and buy a new pair of sweatpants. And I've been doing this for about six months now. So that's about five pairs of sweatpants that I've been wearing over the past six months. I don't really know what's wrong with me. I don't really think there's anything wrong with me. Hardly. Uh, but I, uh, I'm not a normal person. And, uh, yeah, you stink. It felt weird to do that. It felt weird to be a normal. Feels weird to be a normal person. It feels good to be me. And I don't think anybody should be me. Only I can be me, and I'm fine with that. But I am me. And so, uh, ironically, um, uh, that girlfriend. Uh, is a he is him. I am me. And right now, I feel a lot better about being me than being <laughs> him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he complains about washing himself. I bet you he has at least 20 dishes on his streaming desk still filled with half eaten food. <gasps> yes. Like, yes. I, I don't want to be that person, but this Ooh. actually genuinely is making me feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> You're one of those guys, eh? Yeah. You are one of those guys. It's like, I, I'm feeling like, what's wrong with this guy? He's, he's, he's sad. It's like, it's, 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 he's, he's, he has. It's almost like when you come across those financial videos online of the couple that's like a million dollars in credit card debt on Dave Ramsey's show. And you look at yourself and you're like, shit, I'm actually not that bad compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> the way I see it, this, this guy has this false bravado of like, I am who I am, and it's like, not showering is my bad arm. He even says, like, I'm building up a shield. I'm, I'm making myself better. Because this is who I am, and I accept who I am. Yeah. And granted, he lives in this world where it's like, you know, you could be okay this. Where it's to do that. Right? But I don't live in that world, and like I'm trying to comprehend it, and it's like it's incredibly hard to comprehend. Yeah. Experience because for, for real, like it really wasn't that bad. Like it, it really, like after about the tenth day or so, you stop getting dirty, and at that point, you're just kind of chilling. And uh, at a certain point, it's like, well, you're not going to get any dirtier. And I know this might sound fucking delusional, and that's probably because it is, but I actually really think, guys, I think that I, I think I started to get a little bit cleaner at about like the third week and the fourth week. It was like a, you know, an enzyme that's like uh, secreted by your body once it realizes that you haven't showered for a while, it starts like a self-cleaning process. I don't know if that's scientific, probably not, but um, that's the way that it felt to me. His roommates are coming in middle of the night and sponge bathing him. Getting the disposable wipes, they just wiping him down. Because, good lord. But I gotta say, his complexion. Yeah. It, no, not a pimple in sight. But it looks great. You know? It's like, wow. I gotta, I gotta ask, though, if the beard is, like a, is another part of, like, the 45 days. Because that could be a 45 day beard with, as if he's, like, trimming the sides. But he did mention that he had to meet somebody. Yeah. And he did shower. Yeah. So I'm assuming the shave and the shower and the trim All right. came with it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of commitments. I'm not a very committal person. And uh, I'm very afraid of commitments. And I like uh, being able to do things whenever I want to do them. And so I don't like to let people down either. So I try not to, try not to ever make them. So uh, the truth is that I'm not really depressed or fucked up in the head or I'm uh, the second part probably yes but um, not depressed I'm, I'm actually quite content I'm quite happy I uh, 
As I said, I'm 30 years old. I live with my mom. I uh, walk to the convenience. Your your mom doesn't condone this. Like, your your mom is okay with you not showering for a full month and a half. No, she's the one wiping you down when you sleep. She. She's the one. My mom would like, beat the shit out of me probably for that. Yeah. Your mom's not even disappointed anymore. She's just accepted that this is the sad state you're living in. And she's just trying to love you the best she can. But she, she got past the disappointment stage. Wow. Good <laughs> like, good lord. I, like, listen, it's just, it, it, it exemplifies the expression of something only a mother could love. True. Well, so, that was the video, apparently. Uh, he didn't really explain what happened. Yeah, he's more of an insight to the mental state. Yeah. The fact that he wasn't, like, condoning it or, like, yeah advocating it. It was just his journey. It's like, I did that. This is something that I feel like... It's one of those things like, you shouldn't really need to document this. I don't know. I feel that there's some unresolved mental issues here. Yes. There, there's something wrong with this guy. Yeah. And I, it's like, I'm really trying not hard to judge, but like... You're, just, making, it, you're making it very hard not to. Just... <laughs> <laughs> just for yourself. Yeah. You know, just like... When I shower, I get out of the shower. I, I like feel that feeling good. Clean. Yeah, it's like, it's like I feel that niceness. To and me, it's also right? just like basic human decency. Like, dude, I showered before coming over here. Like, you know? it's I'm not like, gonna show up stinking to you. Like, it's like you. I know your smell. We work together fucking twelve hours a day. You know, sometimes three weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. We've been through that. So it's like. But we would also have decency to be like, dude, do it tonight when you go home. Yeah, or like, buddy, I got deodorant in my yeah. locker, buddy, you know, slap another coat wow. on for me, you know? Just, wow, guys. Um, um, good for this guy. Please don't do this. Please don't do this, guys. Please don't do this. And, and if you do do this, hopefully you're lucky enough to have people around you who will actually... Yeah, Ooh, like, so we mind. speak up about this. You like know, care about you. Closing thoughts. Guys, keep it clean. Just... Yeah, do, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Don't like, do it for anybody else. You know, get the sweet spots. Yeah. Even if you're a gamer, even if you don't, you know, have to interact with anybody... If, you eat, you if digest, you, if you, if you, you, if you don't, do things. If you don't have to interact with anybody, you know what, like, I envy you, first of all, like, but... Yeah, I hate people. I hate people, too, but, yeah. you know. Except for you, I love you. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Just be good to yourselves, guys, that's my closing thought. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't put yourself through that, please. Yeah, and, you know, talk to people, get, get out there, and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be good. Be I, I, good to you. Be good to others. And you know. be good to us as well by liking and subscribing. Yeah. Thank you for this. Um, this was a weird video. You swayed. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, come on. Love you.